right. All right, so I was just about to start getting into like cutting some fabric for like a pant pattern that I'm doing. You've probably already seen, but for some reason I'm a little like frazzled. I'm like, my mind is all over the place. And I think it all started from when I drank coffee this morning. I don't know why, but when I drink coffee in the morning, it feels really good. Like I'm like in the zone for like an hour, just probably an hour. And then I start getting like really shaky and I don't know what to do with myself and my mind starts going like a thousand miles per hour and I can't do it that fast. And then I have to eat something to calm myself down, but my mind is still like there for some reason and I need to relax. I'm even like breathing kind of like, <sighs> okay. This is my calm down time before I start pattern cutting. So, its roots are insane. I desperately need to transplant this. I'm gonna do it right now. This is insane. It's like longer than my hair. Okay, I just wanted to mention this, but right now I'm washing this shirt that I've had for ages. I thrifted it like four months ago or something and I didn't wash it and I haven't been wearing it. This shirt, I love it. And it's been sitting in my closet just because I haven't washed it. It smells like an old woman's perfume and slight BO. But right now I finally came to washing it and this is like crazy. Okay, now this is just really concerning. And I'm like, is this even like, is this dirty water or is it dye? Cause this is a lot of dark water. I, oh my gosh. So the plan, the plan is I bought like three yards of orange denim and maybe it's a little too much, but I was like, it's better to have more than like too little. And when I first, and I saw it online, I was like, wow, this is gonna be gorgeous. I was super excited. And then when it got here, I realized it kind of looks like a construction orange or like a jail orange. Like, that suits the people wearing jail sometimes in the movies. I don't know if they actually wear them or not. I. Okay, besides the point, I was at my parents' house and I printed a lot of patterns. This is not even like, I have another whole stack. This is like 30 pages and I felt kind of bad when I was printing it because I literally had to like go find more like paper because the machine ran out and I was getting nervous that the ink would run out and like, that uh, I have to like paste these papers next to each other until it forms like a full pattern. And then I gotta cut it out. And then I gotta pin the fabric on and then cut that out. But today, that's all I'm doing because I found, I learned about myself is that when I have to do a lot of things at one time, then my I get like a little overwhelmed, okay? I get kind of overwhelmed. So before I used to try to make like a whole dress in one day from start to finish, from cutting the pattern and cutting the fabric and sewing it all together and making all the adjustments. And I could not, like it took me the whole day. I didn't even eat and I felt really bad. So I told myself, you know, take this step by step. It's already like seven at night and I still gotta do some other things. So all I'm gonna do is cut out the, the pattern. I'm gonna cut out the fabric as well. And tomorrow is when I will start the assembly, all right? All right, so I've cut out all of these, what are these called? Um, pattern, it's a pattern, yes. And my back really, really hurts. But there's only one more step for me tonight. I'm breaking it down. It's a lot of hair on the floor, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just gonna grab my fabric and cut it out now. Super easy, and then I get to rest.
everyone, I've made quite a bit of progress on the pants, okay? I already have one leg like almost fully completed and I'm almost done with the other one. A little preview. So, <laughs> this is what she's looking like. Something like this, okay? Okay, you can see it's happening. And then another leg, we paste them together, put the zipper, the waistband, and we're good. Today, I have along with me the Elosa Hard Kombucha. If you guys are not on the Hard Kombucha game, you don't know what you're missing out on. If you're legally allowed to drink, right? It's like normal kombucha, if you didn't know. That's a lot of probiotics, good for your stomach, your gut, right? I get this at Trader Joe's. I recommend. So, I've had a busy week. I've been on and off doing these pants, but I'm almost done. My machine here. If you use so often, you know. Or if you don't, you don't, I, I, what? If you so often, you know, or if you're really good with keeping your machine like not getting twisted and messed up, then you wouldn't know. But I like this machine a lot. This is the Singer Heavy Duty machine. The first thing, honestly, that called me to it was like the color, the gray. I thought it looked so like strong. I keep getting like a problem with the bottom bobbin. And two days ago when I was like doing the pants, it literally took like an hour out of everything just to fix it. But I fixed it. I was Googling all night. It was like, and I couldn't figure out like what I did wrong. And it wasn't like the basic, like, oh, fix the threads and the bobbin. It was like the whole case was like messed up something down there. But I figured it out. My baby is back. And I'm gonna finish these pants really quick. Right now I'm doing the crotch area and a lot is happening with a lot of fabric. But I will get through this. I will surpass figuring it out. Isn't that just life? Just figuring it out? Yes. All right, here we go, here we go. Slow. Slow and steady wins the race. All right, I'm back and I am at a halt. I have to pause everything. I hemmed the bottom, I connected it all. She's coming together. She's pants already, right? But I am running out of thread and I didn't realize how much thread I would need for these pants. And I also wanna add more like details. So this is something you learn with experience by doing. Now I know, I don't know how much this was in length, but I need double, I need double. And I tried on my pants and yes, they look like some sort of jail outfit. So I gotta make them a little thinner. I'll be back. So it's been a few days. I ordered more thread. She got here. I finished my pants up and I tried them on. I made a few adjustments here and there never completely perfect but you make it perfect with time okay and I have finished them but when I was putting them on a little piece ripped I'll show you they look really good I'm I'm pretty happy with them I'm gonna wear them tonight to eat dinner with my parents so but yes here they are okay don't look at that but oh here they are wait this isn't it let me just like this is where they ripped this button excuse the button i didn't have any button options I'm gonna hand sew it while it's on me and i'll show you the final product 